Hi everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. And today I have a haul video for you. Sephora haul. Holy smokes, you guys. I have some goodies to show you. So recently, well, okay, first off, it's so awesome that this YouTube community, like that I, has created like really cool friendships for me. And not only with just other YouTubers, which I think is the most common way to make friends. Uh, for those of us who are on YouTube, I, I obviously have made some like really fantastic friends with other YouTubers. But the best part is when subscribers become friends. And listen, I know it feels like we all know each other and we kind of interact and like I try to always comment back on your comments and you know, some of, especially like through social media and all that kind of stuff. But there, I have a particular person uh, that was, has been a subscriber. We're in another beauty group uh, together and she's actually become a really cool friend. And so it was really awesome because she was in, uh, gonna be in Anaheim by Disneyland for a work conference. And that's like maybe an hour, hour and a half for me, depending on traffic. I mean, it could be three hours or it could be an hour. It just depends on traffic. Well, it's never an hour, but hour and a half probably. And um, so we worked it out to get to actually spend the day together. It was so fun. So Kim, yay, I'm so glad you got to come out and visit. But anyway, so Kim and I spent the entire day makeup shopping. I took her to all my favorite places. We hit Sephora, we went to Morph Brush. Like we just really had a great time. And we um, had the best time at Sephora in Glendale at the Americana. That's a great Sephora. So I wanna show you a bunch of stuff that I picked up. But I wanna start out with, she just, I randomly, listen, yesterday I came home I'd been in San Diego all weekend and there was a Sephora box on my front door and I was like, what? I didn't order anything from Sephora. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been sleep ordering. Cause I've heard of that, right? I've heard of people doing that. And I was like, I ordered something in my sleep or like I was racking my brain, I couldn't figure it out. And I opened up the box and um, it was this Kat Von D lipstick. And I was like, in um, a go-go, which is this gorgeous coral, which is, and I was like, what? I never ordered this. And I looked at the packing slip and I could see, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is from Kim. What in the world? And I was like so pumped because I don't have anything by Kat Von D, like nothing. And look at this. If this is not a Trisha lip or this is my first time even swatching it. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. I love an orange lip so much. Let's put it on. I'm putting it on over the OCC um, lip tar stain gloss in um, Androgyny. Let's put this on. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? I think it's gorgeous. It's a really pretty red orange, or a really pretty orange red, I should say. Gosh, that's really pretty. Thank you so much, Kim. It was like such a shock and surprise. And so I texted her, obviously, and she was like, um, well, there will be something <clears throat> so I texted her obviously to thank her and like posted a picture about it and she was like well there's you there's something else coming and I'm like what no way no way so yesterday so that came sorry that came on Saturday and then yesterday was Sunday obviously those days are messed up from when you're gonna be watching this video but yesterday my storage got robbed and I was like so upset it was the worst day ever and so today I'm like trying to make it a better day, trying to really like have a better attitude. And like, that's really traumatic. If you've ever been robbed or had anything stolen from you, it's traumatic and um, it's really emotional. I wasn't expecting to be so emotional, but today I opened the front door and guess what? Another Sephora box. And this time it's a Kat Von D palette, a Kat Von D pa shadow palette. This is true romance eyeshadow palette. I've never seen this. I have never swatched this. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. It's like a metal case and it's got this really pretty like rose embossed like detail. It's really pretty and it's a nice size. Oh, and it is like all perfect neutrals. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful that is. I'm gonna have to swatch these and do a look, do a couple looks for you be because that is so beautiful. I love those colors. It's gonna give like, I love that gray, like pink to gray smoky eye. And this seems like that's gonna really like hit that. That's gonna be a jackpot. So anyway, those were a couple gifts. Thank you so much, Kim. Amazing. Um, so what I picked up when I was with Kim um, at Sephora was the Tarte Rainforest After Dark Palette. Um, 
Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I'm not gonna swatch it because there's a million swatches of it on uh, YouTube, but I am wearing it today for my eye look. And it's been easy. I've actually been wearing the whole palette for my whole face look every day. I didn't use that for my cheeks today, but um, I love that palette. I picked up some skincare stuff that I've been really wanting to try. My best friend Shani uh, loves Paracone MD and swears by it. So I picked up the Gentle Cleanser on her recommendation. This also has some anti-aging benefits, which I'm really excited about that. Loving using that with my Clarisonic. And then um, I picked up the Vitamin C Ester Eye Serum, um, which is therapeutic eye serum that brightens, smooths, and hydrates for your under eyes. I didn't have an under eye serum. Uh, that I was using or loving, so I figured I needed to get that taken care of. Um, I got the Saint Tropez um, self tanning mitt, but I have used it, so this is just the wrapper from it. Um, let's see, what else did I pick up? What else is in here? Oh my gosh, I'm super excited about this. I forgot that I got this. This is the Kiss and Blush Baby Doll Number no. Eight. Um, lips and cheeks from YSL and I have been wanting one of these for so long I thought this I swatched them all and I thought this was like the most beautiful color. I cannot believe I forgot that I got this So that's that pink it's a really cute like baby pink it's gonna be pretty as a lip and definitely pretty as a cheek um, It's really funny when you get things, but then you don't then you save them in the swap uh, like haul bag and you forget you get them um, what else? Oh, I picked up, um, I picked up a Sephora. This is my first like Sephora product. This is a lip gloss in infinite rose and, um, Kim was swatching this and it looked so pretty. And so she, and she picked one up and I thought, you know what? That looks really pretty. I better get one of those. And, and this is my first ever Sephora, uh, makeup product. So I typically haven't, um, bought anything from their brand as far as like makeup goes. I think I've, I mean, I have their like brush cleaner and I can't remember if I have something else of theirs, but somebody gave, Melissa gave me a lipstick from them one time, but this is so pretty. It's like a really pretty, like dusty mauve, but it's got some serious like shimmer in it. And I don't think you can see that. It's not really translating, but it's beautiful, um, as a, as a gloss and it has a really nice, like kind of vanilla smell to it, which I like. Um, okay. Two other things that I got, um, and Kim brought these for me as a present. She is so generous. This is the Black Brown No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner. Love it. It's amazing. And then I haven't started using this yet, but this is the It Cosmetics Hello. That was It Cosmetics as well. This is It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. And this is the mascara. So I'm really excited to um, pick that up and use that. I got a couple, I got a sample of the um, Paracone No Foundation foundations and I got one in shade one and shade two and I actually have shade two on today and it is definitely a no foundation. This is not a great foundation um, for coverage or anything. It just sort of evened out my skin tone but it didn't do anything along the lines of coverage. Uh, we did go to Fresh and I got a, sa a sample of the African Paradise, I think this is like their body conditioner. I think that's what this is, body conditioner. I can't remember. And then I also got there the Grinch deodorant powder. Or any, have you, any of you guys tried this before? Have any of you used this? Um, I'm looking for a natural deodorant. Now the girl did not seem like this, she did not convince me that this really works. She said you have to layer this. Um, so we'll see, I don't know. Because And she said it doesn't stop you from sweating, it just absorbs your odor. So I don't know, I mean, I'm gonna try it. Like I'm always looking for a natural deodorant. So I'd love to know if any of you have any comments on this. And then the last thing that I, oh, you know what? I wanna show one other thing. My friend Summer, um, she is so sweet. She sent me a lipstick in the mail that she had gotten and it wasn't right for her and it's Bare Minerals um, Moxie Go The Distance. And it's a really pretty kind of like coral orange, a real light color compared to the one that I have on from Kat Von D. Uh, so it'll be fun to try that one. I didn't actually have that one. I thought I did, but I didn't. And the last thing that I want to show you is um, from Morph brushes. I got some brushes and stuff like that from them too. Um, but the thing that I really want to show you is some of their eyeshadows that I picked up. First off, they have um, palette eyeshadows that are just a little tiny bit larger than a MAC shadow. You can see um, 
the difference between right here. So that's shale, that's a MAC shadow, and then this is a morph shadow. They're just a tiny, tiny little bit bigger. So I don't know if they fit in a MAC palette, but they sure fit in a Z palette beautifully. I picked up a handful of these because one, they're $2, and two, they are so pigmented. I cannot believe it. So I wanna do some swatches for you, and they go by number. So I actually put the number on the back of here so I can tell you. This first one is number 13. And it's kind of just like a warm, like, like brown. And it's going to be really nice, like as a transition shade. But you can see that it's got some pigment. The next one that I want to show you is number 62, which is a definitely much more of a darker brown. Same thing, very pigmented. But they are, they can be a little bit chalky because they're so pigmented, I think. So I think there, this is definitely, you're gonna wanna tap your brush using these because there's some fallout. Um, the next one, this dark one right here, this like more of a red brown, that is number 15. Right there is 15. This next one, which is more of like a, a bricky brown right here, is number 64. It's really beautiful and it doesn't have any fallout. It's so buttery, that's number 64. Um, this one right here, which is kind of like a brown, like shimmer is number 22. I definitely picked up way too much of that on the swatch, but look how gorgeous that is. And then what other ones? I got to check and see in the back of here. What else? Uh, this beautiful gold one right here. I had to get it. It's so pretty. Uh, that is number 47. And it is like a crazy gold orange, not for everybody, but when you have blue eyes like I do, colors like that are fantastic to wear on the lid. Next, I picked up number 20 right here, which is sort of like a, a taupey, like a, like a taupey brown. Definitely it's got some beautiful shimmer in it. It's so pretty. I just can't believe the pigmentation of these. And then the last one is that crazy bright purple, which is 53. I couldn't resist. It looks a lot like MAC, um, some MAC colors. And it is stunning. It had the least amount of pigment as far as like swatching goes. Like, but that is like, that's like two like swatches basically to get that much pigment but it's really beautiful so anyway those are you can find those at morph.com and um they also have some great brushes i'm so sorry i didn't even bring those over like to film with the those but that gives you some like idea of the shadows how pigmented they are i definitely think um i haven't worked with them as far as like how they blend out and like that kind of stuff but as far as pigment goes they are equally if not more as pigmented as like mac or makeup geek We'll just see how easy or not easy they are to use. So I'll keep you posted on that. But anyway, just some swatches for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. My battery is about to die. Have a great day.